Say she lit the place up herself on account of her husband was cheating on her. Okay, yeah, then. I know. Hello. Can anybody show me some kindness? One of them myself. That's a nice addition on a saddle. Nice. You only live once, lest you're a cat. Adding on to a saddle helps personalize it. Always good to have one of those. Can anybody show me some kindness? I got one of them myself. Anything anyone can give me, please help. Nice bit of grooming. People take notice. It's nice to give a little special grooming. Anything. Hey, it costs more for a reason. Get yourself some to eat. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Groveling here in the dirt. <sighs>
Quite some poster, eh? If I looked like that, I would have pursued a more dishonest path myself. Next service is delayed, folks. Man. My horse threw me, and I landed on my foot, and I heard a snap. My legs all numb. I am desperate here. Please. Looks fine to me. Come on. You'll have to live with this. I'm fine with my decisions. If you ain't a gentleman, well, I ain't a lady. Hands up now.
Good work, my friend. I am proud of you all. That will send a clear message. Let's hitch the horses. Someone coming! Happy
What? Come on now, boy. This hunk of dead meat used to be called the Millamont. Okay, put him out the back there. Probably best it ended this way, you know? This town don't need any more dirty laundry here. That's what we'll pay for. I guess that's what I'll have to accept then. Thank you. 
Parker? You interested in a little friendly competition? You a shooting man? I've been looking for a challenge and I ain't found one yet. What'd you say? Do you in or not? Oh. Why don't we find out? Good. Whoever shoots the most bottles wins, okay? All right. All right. Stand alongside me. As soon as you pull your weapon and aim, we let fly. Okay. Go. Maybe you were just outgunned. Here you go. As promised. Thanks, friend. Careful now. Next time I may not hold back. What in the hell? Ah! Hey, We're on a schedule here. Hello. Go. Your back left wheel seems shaky to me. Looks like it's about to come off. Yeah. Ah, shit. Back well, go take a look. Right. Get off of there now. Do what I say and nobody get. It's hurt. We got ourselves a thief. Deal. <laughs> You might be interested in this. They're a war on I don't know about. How the hell you get it so beat up? Here, 
Pleasure. Remember you. Passed through here some time ago, huh? All right, take a look. It's worth buying. I'll buy it. Yep, I get a lot of these. one day. Please! Oh, boy. I sure owe you one. If I'm gonna be hanged, at least let it be for a crime I committed. Boy. If you want to make some easy cash, there's a bunch of high rollers who play poker a couple of floors up over the gunsmith in San Denis. How have you been, Arthur? Okay. You seem well, Reverend? Yes. Well, maybe. I've been okay before, but then I make a fool of myself again. <laughs> so do I. I went into town. So did I. If I was still a, a religious man, I'd say there are too many Catholics there, but I've, I've given up on all that. Mm. <laughs> Me too, Reverend. I met a monk there. Kindly fellow. Took me back to my days in college. Is there any purpose to this conversation, Reverend? Not really. But he said the strangest things about all manner of bad things happening in town. Bad things happening in a city. <laughs> Who would have thought it possible? Yes. Well, maybe if you're there, you could have a chat with him. He's hanging about outside the marketplace, collecting alms for the poor. Sounds thrilling. Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Nothing. I don't believe you. It's just a little robbery, all right? Nothing serious. Good. What are you robbing? A stage. There's a stage coming through. According to the fella I met, it'll have a bunch of money aboard and no security whatsoever as it comes up the river trail between here and Catfish Jackson. 
Okay. That yeah, sounds worth investigating. You and, uh, who? I don't know. I, I thought I'd do it on my own. It'll be unprotected. Won't be a huge take, but I should make out okay. There ain't no such thing as unprotected. Now, who you want to go with? I guess you. Now? I don't need no hand-holding offer. Oh, come on, kid. <laughs> but if we decide to do it once we've had it, look, I'm taking half the money. All right, let's get going then. It should be on its way right now. It seems like only yesterday you and me was shooting our way in here to rob those fools. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll be glad to leave this place behind if I'm honest. Got a bad feel to it. At least it's got a roof. Oh, you ain't even 20 years old. Your time will come. Follow me. I saw a good spot for an ambush. So who's the feller told you about this? It's a sound lead. I told you. And what did he have to gain by giving you this information? You mean, did I give him money or a gun? You're just gonna have to trust me on this one, Arthur. Okay. Okay, I do. You more than proved yourself the past six months. Don't forget, I was on the run for murder before falling in with you boys. For three years. It ain't like I'm new to any of this. Uh, those fellers who killed your pa? Yep. And I'd do it again right now. Of course. to the right here. I figured we'd take up position behind these rocks. Yeah, seems good. The stage should be coming up the river from Catfish Jackson any time now. I don't see no escorts, neither. <laughs> this should be a cakewalk. Are you sure about that? You see any? As soon as they're close enough, we'll jump out, hit them fast. Just wait for my lead, okay? Evidently. That was not the way I was expecting things to go. You took us into a trap. Look, I'm telling you, it was good information. Wait. Look. Look, there's some money here. Not much. Yeah, it ain't much, because it was a trap. Stage companies do this all the time. They set up traps oh, to catch fools. Shit. 
Like you and me. <laughs> I feel like a fool. Well, that's good, because you are a fool. But you're still alive, so don't worry too much about it. Well, get out of here before any more turn up. All right. See you back at camp. Time to go, boy. Was that you? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. 
There can be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. <laughs> That's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friends with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has uh, that thing, you know, uh, respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. <laughs> come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. You've arrived, and you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh, this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something, although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is saint High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte? No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, a hero, they say, but that, this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows. This self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such. Not in cold blood, anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar people. They hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, 
As a guest? Yes, as my guest. Bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> Ok, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Sì. <ride> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Santa Nina. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us some place to rob them. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find that old Cornwall horse. He's gonna know you Enjoy your night, sir. Get me a bloody drink, will you? Glass of champagne, sir? Just big enough for me to spill the legs, you know? What's the matter? You know what? Well, hello, gentlemen. Featherstone Chambers. Pleased to meet you. The truth is, since the war, the country's to be better. Sure. Philistines all that, Marie? No, I am quite that much of a Philistine. Besides which, Lucille Chatonet, he is a two-bit charmer. Only the most foolish of women would fall for his nonsense. Well, that's quite unfair. I found him delightful. In that French sort of way. He reminds me of someone in book by Balzac. He reminded me of a hobgoblin. A spell caster. You're very unkind, Marie. I am honest. Where is that winger? I need more champagne. Oh, me too. How is your husband, Dolores? I hear he is much improved. He's in Tunis, I Show sure why you went. <laughs> <laughs> oh, outrageous. <laughs> These dancers. Well, uh, <laughs> if that's French culture for you, sign me up for French lessons. Oh, would you like to hear the What? You're having a fine evening. Ah, Mr. Mayor, wonderful to see you again. <laughs> and you, this intellectual here was just insulting me. Hello there. I did no such thing. But, Mr. Lemieux, I Is there a have as Americans have a duty to take care of people living in this land. Yeah, and that extends to Saint Denis. But, Mr. Bonjour. The Indian problem is not an urban problem, but a rural problem. Hello. And here in Saint Denis, we have problems of our own. I beg to differ, sir. Bonjour, monsieur. It is not a rural problem, but a human problem. What's in you, your sir? head? An American problem. We want to end this century yet more besmirched with blood and guilt because of more sins? Do we wish to better ourselves? It ain't complex, and you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me cool off? <clears throat> Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the park. How do you do? Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. 
Allegedly. There's quite a place you've got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh! Oh! My lord, they're fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Well, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Terrapin. Taken care of the telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. <sighs> Marie, Marie, find that little reprobate Jeep and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. <sighs> have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. <clears throat> Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. Standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight! Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting.
find anything? I think so. Nothing. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think... Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find out? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller, a fine man, here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <clears throat> Morning, Arthur. I tell you what, little Miss Romance. I was right. About what? San Denis. How so? It ain't romantic. It's evil. <laughs> Evil can be very romantic. Shut up. I talked to this couple in town. They told me there's this old rumor about people drinking blood. Human blood in town. <laughs> That's just a silly old wife's tale. What? Blood drinking ain't romantic enough for you? Depends on whose blood. Very funny. <laughs> Morning. You ain't gonna get no 
nowhere with that hammer. You shut up. I know how to open a safe. Good Lord. Okay, why don't you just show the damn lock and be done with it? And have it bounce off and hit me? You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, sometime before I turn you old to spend it would be nice. I don't see you doing nothing except talking on a man of crap. Hey, I got the safe. And I outran the sheriff in the wagon. I'm getting real sick of you right about oh, now. Oh, same for me. Watch me. <laughs> oh, yeah. See? Look at that. Huh. Well, it took you long enough. Jesus. them with your own kindness you kind sir will you help the poor I ain't so kind yes you are sir you have it in you I can tell I'm a nasty bit of work father you're wrong on two counts sir I'm a humble brother a penitent monk not a priest and you're a magnificent bit of work you may have made some some poor choices but which of us hasn't <laughs> you have no idea but you do and God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. A little can go such a long way. Sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, uh, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. That's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, well, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Like saint -Denis is acting as a staging post shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. Hello, sir. Appreciate it. You can take a look. Hi there. Oh, oh sorry. What well, can I get you today? Hi there, mister. Uh, feel free to browse. Shall do. Got a few paintings over there. Uh, something for the wife, maybe? Oh, uh, nothing much back there, I'm afraid. Just a, a few old books. Something don't seem right. Sir, uh, what are you doing back there? Who's back here? Looks like this pulls out or something. Pulls out? No, it's just an old bookcase. Uh, seen better days. I must say, you're acting very strange. Just uh, what is it you want? Maybe you should leave now. I've had enough of this. You're crazy. I'm going to get help. No, no. This is a dream. 
Nos deja aquí. Now don't worry. I'm on your side. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. Dorkin's friend, Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh, my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, he forgot this. Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Anything to spare for a blind man? Oh, good day to you. Do you have anything you can spare for a blind man? Oh, thank you, sir. Uh, truly, thank you. It means a lot to me. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Hello. Can I help you gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. 
We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. Make this gentleman look like the Duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. The heavy... A very good choice, sir. Inbreeding. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation for us. George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you, from Toad. Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't winnie up there on the horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't Hamlet. So, who's the mark? You all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. 
Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. All been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They are searches when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes. Yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, gentlemen. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. Drinking other places ain't so bad as this. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The table's await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? Are you joining us? We have a chair here with your name on it, sir. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. <laughs> Desmond Blythe. Good evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fared? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> yes, call. Like I said, Mr. Callahan, cowards. Okay, sorry, boys. I'm taking it all. We'll see about that. To hell with it. You know what? Call. Here we go, then. Well, Hello, my ladies. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting in the hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. 
You sound just like my wife. Raise. Go back. Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. Now, what the hell? It's only money. Interesting. Pair of cowgirls. <laughs> Ship. Ship. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning? Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. <laughs> I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pair kings. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God damn you! N no offense. None take. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now... Forgive my lack of discretion, but, uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Well, perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? You in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. 
And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I'd give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> At the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, there's your friend. No, sir, my friend is not a no good chief, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Now, oh, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> Come on, Arthur. We gotta get out of here. Dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently, it's worth a bunch of Swiss. Uh, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. know you? Mr. I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met 
This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flats. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore, we've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, now, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but... I'm a working man, I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello. Mr. Miller, the counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. All those tables from up deep catching the fire. They're all in short by the same side. Let's go, boy. Clear the way! Place. I got away, but they got my wife. Please, mister. She got to do something. All right. Where is she? She's a sacked out in the swamp by the water. <laughs> okay. Go on. See if you can find the law. I'll do what I can.
Sorry I weren't here sooner. Oh, 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 thank the law you showed up when you did! You saved my honor! Christ! What a mess! Would you please get them out of here? I can't stand to touch them, and I don't want to rotten indoors. in the sack there. It ain't enough, but please take it. Appreciate oh, you it. You, my Good luck to you. I like that new hat. Have you seen Karen and Mr. Pearson? No, my child, not today. I haven't seen anyone. I spent the day working. Okay. I remember a long time ago, we lost this fella at sea. So it's a city bank, bank business. and then we're off. Sir. It's what you wanted. Do you think a shark can it's what we need. Today? If we can manage it. City banks are high. But we got a lot of guns. You think we can do it? I hope so. 
I really do. I won't ask where all the blood came from. some guts, kid. That's for sure. <laughs> what do you want? Always full of sunshine, ain't you? Old Misery Guts Morgan. What do you want, Micah? Hmm. Well, I... I want a friend, Arthur. I want hope. I want tomorrow to mean more than today. I want this whole damn shit show to have some kind of meaning I haven't understood. <laughs> but I ain't holding my breath. Yeah, I wouldn't. So, instead of that, how about you and me go and redistribute some property? Redistribute? Yep. From the Bowles Overland Stagecoach Company into our pockets. And you'll fight this time? I always fight. No, you always talk. But with coaches, guns are more significant than words. Oh, I'm fine with both, friend. Yeah. Come on, then. <laughs> you think we need an extra gun? Probably a good idea. Bill, come on. What are we doing? Coach, stick up. Well, excellent. I'm in. Micah and Bill? This is a death sentence. There's a good spot where we can hit it as it comes over the river into the swamps north of here. You got an actual plan this time? I got three sticks of dynamite, I got two pistols, I got you and Bill. That count as a plan? Not really. Well, let's go. <laughs> I'm joking. So, who told you about this? Please tell me it wasn't an O'Driscoll this time. Nope, a man on the inside at Bowles Overland. You can keep your funny little station friend in Rhodes. I go right to the source. Why did he tip you off? Charm, Bill. Not something you can learn, I regret to inform you. Very true. You're proof of that. Amusing. Charm. And a little money. Right. Which I recovered the next day when he met with a tragic boating accident. See, I don't like leaving trails, unlike the rest of you. What do you mean by that? We keep leading trouble right to us. We're carrying too much dead weight. We need to be leaner so we can move faster, quieter. I prefer a tight crew, just five or six strong gunmen. Well, nobody's stopping you. There's a whole world out there. Go find the strong men you want and leave. Hey, I like you boys. And with the price on our heads, we are wedded in this chaos, for better or for worse at this point. It would be a coward's move to bail on Dutch now. Not like John did. Heard about him disappearing on you fellers. For a year, wasn't it? Something like that. I don't trust him. I've been talking to Dutch. Feels to me like he's turned, challenging every move Dutch makes. I know you have your doubts about him too, Morgan. No, I got no doubts about John. I've known him 15 years. Well, if we really are gonna escape somewhere like me and Dutch have been talking about, let's cut across here, it'll be quicker. We're gonna need to cut some loose. From what Dutch says, the coffers are looking pretty good again. We could almost leave now if we chopped half the dead wood. We ain't doing that. I mean, why the hell do we need a gaggle of girls who won't even fuck you if you put a gun to their head? I'm sure you've tried. 
Is it too much to ask, considering they get a piece of every damn dollar I bring in? Everyone does their share. I don't see you lifting a finger around camp. Huh. Swanson does his share. Molly, come on. Well, uh, that's different. See, <laughs> this is what I mean. I've always liked Abigail, though. That's my kind of girl. Sully, but strong. Well, I don't get the sense the feeling is mutual. Okay, here we are. Whoa! I'll get the explosives planted. Coach should be coming through any minute now. in the road over here so we can blow it as it comes over the bridge got some good cover over here you hide behind this tree to my left morgan williamson you take the other side try to stay out of sight we don't want to spook them Here they come. You gonna shoot the charges, Morgan? About time you did something. Gotta go, boy. Favor. It's warm. W, an upside down M. Hello, uh, Mr. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. 
brother Dorking told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. <laughs> no offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's kids that'll watch! Don't hurt him, please! You all right? Oh, I'll live. Kid did this? Uh, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way. Fame. Thank you. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no different watch. Last Saturday, I saw you steal it with my own two eyes. Hey, you. Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister. <clears throat> hey, you want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey, I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. Ha, now. I mean, uh, hey, Help! Uh, Help! Hold on! This man is bothering now. me! Someone help me! Officer! Help! <sighs> oh, hell! Okay, fella. This. The other night, a lawman got so drunk he pissed himself. What's this place coming to? Mm. Hey, go back to scares and burn. Every day, it's a new challenge, Father. When I was younger, those challenges used to frustrate. Mr. Morgan! Uh, excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't! Oh, I did. Oh, I hope the boy. Oh, he's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but. Who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but my mother gave it to me when I was a novice. Shortly before she passed, you are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? Brother Dorkins told him. I told you. Brother Dorkins was fantastic. Let's go, boy.
Come on! 